No, no. Barusu. Ah. Hi, everybody. Dan Yeltsin here, and this will probably be a bit of a quicker video, but today I've got for you guys a video review of the Figma ROM. Now, I am really excited about this because I absolutely love ROM, especially in Season 2 of ReZero, but... Admittedly, this figure does look like it's going to be a nearly identical figure to the Figma Rem, so there probably won't be that much into this video, that much meat to this video, but I'm still really looking forward to this. I've been wanting to get this figure for a while, and it's actually one of the cheapest Figmas right now. You can get this for a pretty solid price, and I absolutely loved ROM in Season 2 of ReZero, so I am still really, really, really excited about this. I do have Rem and Amelia as well, so we'll get some group shots with all of them together. It's going to be really, really, really awesome. We still don't have have a Subaru, so there's that, but we'll talk about that, I guess, at some point in the video, probably. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this, so let's jump into the review. You guys know, love ReZero, really don't need to say anything else about it. I've talked about it numerous times in the channel, one of my favorite animes of all time. I think it's an absolute masterpiece, but let's jump in to the figure review. Starting off by taking a look at the packaging, we have ROM in there, we have ReZero 347, Figma, Kadokawa, ROM, ReZero starting life in another world. On the side, you have a nice picture of ROM with the uh, little plate right there, the same one that comes with Rem. You have a nice picture right there of ROM with the knife right there and on the back shows us some obligatory product shots and it shows that we can do the little twin thing with we do have REM which I do have REM so I will be able to show off how this works in this video very 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 excited I am really looking forward to this let's go ahead and get her opened up actually before we do that I do want to show how she looks with side by side the REM box which that actually does look pretty cool and I'll also bring in the Amelia box as well just to show off how they look together if you're interested in that at all. They are all the same size boxes, so they will probably look fairly nice uh, stacked next to each other on the shelf. Although, Brand, uh, Figma Amelia has kind of a different design going on here, so that's a little bit weird. Would have been nicer if she had the same design as these two with this black strip, but still wanted to show how this looks, and I think these two definitely look really good together. We have Rem out of the packaging, and I'm not gonna waste any time. I mean, Rom, and I'm not gonna waste any time. We're just gonna go ahead and bring it right in the Figma Rem as well, so we can take a look and see if there is any difference whatsoever between these two figures. Just right off the bat, start comparing them. And I gotta say, right off the bat, I think they look phenomenal together already. I am really, really happy I decided to grab this because just having both of them is so, so awesome. It looks so cool having them both here. And uh, looking at it, taking a look at any differences, I actually think they made her chest a little bit smaller than on Rem, which is accurate. I don't mean to be a pervert here, but it's said numerous times throughout the show that Rem does have a bigger bust than Rom, so it does look like they did actually, yes, they definitely did, I can tell. They definitely did sculpt her chest to make it look a little bit smaller than Rem. That is a nice touch to go above and beyond. They really didn't have to do that, honestly. I really doubt anybody would have noticed, but the fact that they went that extra mile, very commendable. Thank you, Figma, but yes, they did a great job. I mean, you can really, really see that, but basically that's pretty much the only thing that's different. I'm pretty sure everything else is just straight reuse from Rem. Not a complaint, I'm just pointing it out, but yeah, they look fantastic together. They really, really do. I am already absolutely loving this figure because, I mean, the quality on Rem is phenomenal. Rem is one of the best Figmas I think that has ever existed. Honestly, I think she's one of the solid and most fun figures. She's probably, if I had to actually guess, I think Rem is the Figma. I actually changed the most. I take her off the shelf and constantly change her pose. I go back and forth between putting her in standard rem or making her demon form and giving her the mace or the plate, doing anything, and now I have even more options because now I have her with her sister here. So yeah, rem is one of the most fun figmas and one of the most playable ones and that pretty much should go hand in hand with Rom here. Although I will say Rom does have a considerable lesser amount of accessories, probably why she is so much cheaper than rem and a lot of other figmas. Like, a figma will usually run you about 90 to 100 dollars this rom it probably is probably like 30 percent cheaper than those normal figmas so definitely two thumbs up there 
So yeah, I am really happy with this, and I love that they took that extra mile to actually re-sculpt her and make her look more accurate. That is such a nice touch. Two thumbs up for that Figma. And with that, let's go ahead and bring in the final ReZero Figma, the Amelia, because let's just take this opportunity, since this is going to be a very uneventful review, let's just take this opportunity to ask, why the hell is there no Subaru Figmas out there? There's only one Subaru figure I've ever seen, and that was the Nendoroid. And then there's one of uh, him and Rem riding on Patriche from from the uh, second part of season one. There is like zero Subaru figures out there, which is really, really sad, probably because F Subaru is probably so hated because so many people don't understand why he is such an amazing character, why he is such a brilliantly written protagonist, especially for an isekai. I absolutely love Subaru. Now, admittedly, I did not like Subaru that much on my first watch, but... When you realize why Subaru is as great as he is because of how flawed he is, because he feels like a normal human, because in anime, you always have these characters like, for, ex like for example, I just finished watching Dr. Stone, and I loved it, don't get me wrong, I absolutely loved it, amazing shonen, I loved it, but I have to say, one thing I really did not care for in Dr. Stone was how fucking picture perfect Senku was. He was an awesome character, and I loved him, but he was literally flawless, he, every single idea he had was absolutely perfect, and went off without a single hitch. Every single one of his actions had no consequences whatsoever. He was a genius and he was so confident and he was just way too perfect in my opinion. You get a character like Subaru from ReZero who is such a flawed character and so many people dislike him straight up because you're kind of supposed to because he's a normal dude and people, people aren't perfect, okay? I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, nobody's nerfect as I like to say. And and that is why Subaru is such an amazing protagonist because of his growth throughout the series and he still feels like such a real person. And as someone who really loves Subaru, I'm really, really sad that I have no care figures of Subaru. Basically, while I'm, I'm taking this very long tangent to tell you, Figma, please make a Subaru. I really think we really need it, honestly, especially now that we have all of them. And I will also, you know what, one more, actually. I do have one more figure I can add to this. It's a bit unorthodox, but I will also go ahead and bring in my Nendoroid Beatrice as well. So while it's not the same uh, line as, uh, as these three, just wanted to bring that in to show more reasons why we really need a Subaru, man. So, yeah, I don't know. That's just my very long tangent to tell why I really want a Subaru. I think we've... One more... And also, for one more comparison, I'll bring in my other most recent Figma purchase, the Figma Aqua from Konosuba, just so you can get a good look of how she scales with another Figma right there. So, there you go. And here are our face sculpts, and I really love this one, because this one just really embodies Rom for me. Rom is such an asshole to Subaru. She's pretty cool to everybody else, but she's such an asshole to Subaru, and that's why she's so fucking amazing throughout Season 2, and then especially towards the end of Season 2, when you really get into her, her whole arc with Roswell. My god, what an amazing character, man. I cannot believe Rom at one point was like, because like, in Season 1, Rom is like barely even a character. Like, she does pretty much nothing in Season 1, and then Season 2, who comes and she's just absolutely amazing basically becoming just as good as her sister was in season one maybe not quite to the same level because rem does have all those amazing moments especially in like episode 18 and whatnot and i don't think Re rom ever got to that uh got ever got to that level of greatness but still in season two everything Everything dealing with her arc with Roswell was really great. So you have that face, which I think is really, really, really cute right there. <laughs> no, no. Barusu. <laughs> Absolutely love that face. That is really, really cool. And I mean, I mean, we do also get, uh, we do also get another face sculpt with her. We get this more happy face, which will look good if you have, uh, the same one on with Rem, because Rem Cam comes with a very similar one. So you can have that on and have kind of a happy ROM. But what I want to try out is I want to try out her alternate hands, because of course, if you know ROM, you know what Rom's main power is, and that is her wind magic. So if you give her this face, and then you plug on these kind of spell casting hands right here, you can kind of get some poses like she's using her wind effects. And if you give a little bit more dynamicness to the figure here, or maybe like try something like this... Like that. I know I'm kind of copying the pose on the box, but this is just an example to give her kind of a using her powers pose right there so you can give her that. I will say, this figure doesn't come with a lot of accessories, and I really don't see why we couldn't have gotten some wind particle effects, like honestly, and I know the Nendoroid even comes with some, so I really don't understand why they couldn't have just thrown in some wind particle effects with this figure. I don't think it would have absolutely... 
I don't think it would have killed them to throw in some wind particle effects, but still, you can really get some great poses with this. And hey, we can take it a step further and we can pop on the other one as well and get kind of a double wind effect uh, effect right there. So yeah, you can definitely get some pretty good dynamic poses with her, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then if you bring her sister in, you can totally get some pretty awesome battle poses with the two, man. That is very, very cool. I mean, obviously, you gotta try a little bit harder than I am right now. But yeah, you can totally get some great poses between them two. Have her in demon form and then have her just kind of casting her wind magic. That would definitely be really cool. Again, be even cooler if we had a freaking Subaru for them to protect. But still, you know, this still looks pretty great. But of course, we also get a bunch of other hands right here. We get some grip hands, we get a pointing finger, we get a grab finger, and we have these fingers for these hands right here for her plate, which she comes with the exact same plate that came with the Figma Rem. You don't even really need those hands if you want to. You can actually just use the, uh, the splayed out hands as well. The, this will easily balance on the fingers just like that. So you can use that, and if you want to, you can have your Rem displayed with the same plate, and you can kind of get more of like... Not as easy as it is on Rem, it's gonna fall right off, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty much, this is almost the exact same play here, here's the one that came with Rem, yeah, same exact piece, same exact piece, so, you have two now. <laughs> Oh, and one more thing to complete her with uh, her wind magic poses. We get an alternate hair piece right here that gives her a similar thing to the demon rem. Of course, though, since Rom lost her horn, I guess I should have thrown a spoiler warning out there, but I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you have probably watched uh, ReZero. Since Rom doesn't have her horn, she has this one right here. So she doesn't have her horn, but she still has kind of the parted hair, so it kind of looks like she's still kind of uh, doing some badass shit, and her hair is kind of blowing a little bit. Although it seems like on this one, compared to the rem, it seems a little bit more, I, I mean, that, that that's pretty okay, but I, I don't know, I kind of see a little bit more shadowiness, shadowiness going on with this one. I still think it looks pretty good, but I'll probably be sticking with the standard one. Let's try and get her in another awesome uh, wind magic pose right here so we can show that off. There we go, yeah, so you can totally get some great poses right there between the two, which I really like. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I definitely really like that. I gotta say, I honestly think this face is a little out, out of place here, because I'm actually having a hard time pinning down any point in the show when Rom had this. Rom was such a sour puss, and I don't ever remember ever smiling, honestly. So, yeah, maybe towards the end of season two when she confessed to Roswell, but eh, that's pretty much it, honestly. I don't know. This is kind of out of place, and I probably won't be using this face. But moving right along with the accessories, I gotta say, man, I love this figure. <laughs> I really love this figure. I mean, I kind of think that kind of goes without saying, because I love the rem so much and this is pretty very similar but honestly the subtle little changes they made with this figure i really really like this figure man but the next accessory we get is we get a little knife so you can recreate when she's teaching subaru and to go with it you get another hand of her holding a potato so you can have recreate that one scene of her peeling the potato in front of subaru gotta be honest i think they're kind of reaching with this accessory but hey it's kind of fun we can still have some fun with it we can still put it on here i won't be using this for my display with her, but who knows? I don't know. I don't want to say that because I do constantly change my figmas up, and sometimes I will end up, maybe some, and maybe at some point, I will end up uh, posing her with this, maybe for a little bit. I don't know. Probably not, though, because this is just like a one and done scene, although I guess it did happen a few times because of the whole thing with uh, Subaru. Oh, yeah, actually, yo, you get two, you get two different um, gripping hands with this, and you have to use this one that's a little bit more closed in. I'm not really sure why you get the other one, because there's nothing else to really uh, for her to really hold, like, she doesn't come with, like, a mace, because she doesn't have a mace, like, Rem, so I don't know why they have that, but yeah, that actually goes really well in her hand there, and you can, I mean, I mean, if you want to, you should, she can kind of go all Michael Myers on you, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past Rom, but yeah, you could totally have this, and kind of recreate that scene, once again, we can't really recreate this scene, because we don't have a freaking Subaru Figma, but, you know, you can try your best if you want to, <laughs> But the final accessory is the one that you all want to see. This is the clasping hand right here. And if you have Rem, you have this one that came with her, and of course you know what these are for. And you plug them together and you can recreate their twin thing that they did for like half an episode and then never ever did ever again. <laughs> so yes, if you really want to go through a lot of pain to do this, because I'm going to be real with you, this is not easy to do. You're going to have to have some uh, perseverance for this. Although admittedly, I'm not sure if you actually need to have them on the stands for these, because I'm sure with them locked together like this, I'm sure they could probably hold each other up yeah you don't need the stands for this so you can just have them and then that will actually allow you to uh, 
make them to push them in a little bit closer so they're like that and then if you want to you can maybe add a little bit more to it by bringing her up on one foot right there if you want to so yeah you can recreate this and it does look good but like I said before they only did this for like half an episode and then they never did it ever again it was like one of those shtick that was there and then it was just gone like nothing and they never even acknowledged it ever again so yeah but if you really want to recreate that one tiny that basically one scene where they did this I mean you absolutely can do so and it does it it does look good don't get me wrong it does look good but it is a bit of a pain in the ass to set this up but it does look good and it is solid I mean if you have her on one foot it's not going to be as solid but if you have them both on both legs they are pretty damn stable like this so yeah this is definitely a cool way you can display them and if you want to hey I mean if you want to we could like have a uh, we could like try and like work them into the display with uh with Amelia here just to show what that's going to look like there you go so you can kind of have that going on although you're going to need to you're going to need to kind of straighten out their arms here to have enough space to show off Amelia there you go. On camera, it doesn't look that good, but in person, it looks quite a bit better. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to show that real quick. So there you go. That is the final accessory you get with ROM. Pretty cool accessories overall. A little bit small amount, though. But that does mean a cheaper price, so do keep that in mind. However, I do want to show that they are very stable. They are definitely locked together when you do this, so don't really worry about anything uh, being too fragile or anything like that. And you can also just do one if you want to. So you can have a lot of fun with these doing uh, different things with the two sisters. So yeah, two thumbs up. And of course, being a Figma, you do get the bag and the extra wrist peg. However, however, if you have this figure, you almost definitely also have the ramp. And this figure comes with a very small amount of accessories, so personally, what I would recommend doing is just grabbing your RAM bag, add a plus ROM to it, and then just put all the accessories in this one bag. This is what I did with my Kill a Kill Figmas, I put every single one of the accessories in one bag, it fits perfectly fine, and I think this works out quite a bit better, so this just gives you an extra Figma bag, and I think this looks good, having them all together. Honestly, you could probably fit Amelia's in there as well, because she also doesn't come with all that much stuff, although she does have that big bulky cloak, so I don't know, we'll just stick with this for now. Well, I was expecting this review to be a fast one, but this is actually quite a bit long. This is actually one of my longer Figma reviews, so, uh, so much for that. But getting into my final thoughts on the Figma ROM, surprisingly, I really, really like this figure. I am really surprised by how much I like this figure. It is a pretty much, it's like, it's very similar to the Figma ROM, which is, you know, why should I be so surprised that I like this figure so much when I absolutely loved the, uh, the Figma ROM, and this figure is so similar to this figure, but they really did do a good amount of stuff stuff to actually differentiate her for, for, from Rem. They did quite a bit of new sculpting in the torso area. They give her some good accessories, although admittedly a very low amount of accessories, and I do still think they definitely could have given a, get it, gotten away with giving us some wind particle effects that definitely would have been a lot cooler. Uh, definitely would have been a, a lot cooler in my opinion, but still, I find myself really, really enjoying this Figma, especially posing her along with the Rem, and also throwing in Amelia in there as well. Really, really great. Just makes me want a Subaru even more, man. Come on, Figma. Give us a Subaru. And while you're at it, how about a Roswald too? Oh, and Loki, my favorite villain of ReZero, Loki Regulus. Regulus is an awesome character, and we need a figure of him too. He was so cool. And I do not consider Echidna a villain, okay? I do not. But really, really, really love this figure. I am very, very happy with it. Absolutely phenomenal. I have to, I, I want to give it an S tier, although the accessories are kind of low, and I really do think those wind particle effects are missing. So we'll hit it with an A+. Plus, but... I really, really like this figure. I really cannot say it enough. I really, really like this figure. So if you're a fan of ReZero and you're a fan of ROM or the character or, or you already have Rem, honestly, even if you only have Rem and you don't really care about ROM, honestly, I really enjoy playing around with this figure and posing her with Rem as well. Although I don't know why you wouldn't like ROM, especially if you've seen season two, cause she's fucking awesome in season two, but still really cool. Oh, and Garfield as well. I forgot about Garfield. We need a Garfield figure as well. And Felix. Felix definitely needs a figure too. Okay. I'm getting on a tangent here. I love ReZero. That's the fucking gist of it so give us all the figures okay thank you all so much for watching the video hope you enjoyed it if you did maybe give me a like subscribe for more anime figure reviews in the future let me know all your thoughts on the figma rom in the comment section down below and with that being said this is the guillotine assigning out